On today's video, I'm going to be talking about the butterfly effect, what it is, how you can tap into the energy field so that you can heal and shift out of old timelines and old stories. And I'm just going to be sharing some really cool things about the laws of the universe and karma and energy. So make sure you stick around till the end because this video is going to be filled with value and I'm going to be sharing some really cool things for you to try out and apply in your own life to notice these major, major shifts. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kara Michelle and I'm here to help you live your truth. Now, the butterfly effect, I wanna talk about it in so many different levels. Um, obviously there is a film called this with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> this was actually one of my favorite movies growing up and it was really, really inappropriate. Like looking back at it, I'm like, man, I was too young to have watched this movie. Um, but I watched it with my dad and with my brother and it just like blew me away. It was so, so cool for me because I was someone who as a child was like desperately searching for answers and meaning and purpose, trying to understand um, how the universe worked and really struggling with the whole like death and non-existence kind of thing. So I really believed in karma and reincarnation and all of that kind of stuff. So watching the butterfly effect and learning and seeing just how one simple thing can totally shift and change the outcome to so many different potential opportunities or potential outcomes, uh, it just like really, really fascinated me. So the overview of the butterfly effect in general, like not the film, but just like what it is, is the premise that like if a butterfly were to flap its wings I forget like there is a direct quote but like if a butterfly were to flap its wings in the amazon it could actually set off ripples in motion that created like an earthquake or something halfway around the world is basically the summarized version of it and to me i know when i first heard that specific thing i was kind of like how does that happen <laughs> you know um, but what's so cool about it is to me, it's really just symbolizing the fact that everything and everyone is connected and everything and everyone is energy. So literally every single choice that I make has a ripple effect and has a, an impact on not only those around me, but also the world at large, because we are all connected by the energetic field and or the quantum field. And so this is what I think is so fascinating. And I know for myself in my own spiritual awakening and my own growth and discovery was realizing how much every single choice I made impacted other people because most of us feel and believe really disempowered thoughts, thinking that we, we're not enough to make a difference. Like I'm just one person, how could I make a difference? And we end up letting our ego mind and those limiting beliefs keep us stuck and keep us trapped in a really disempowered reality where we, we continue to make decisions that aren't actually for our highest good or for the world's highest good because we just feel like we don't really matter. Now, what does this look like? This could be food choices. This could be um, your career. This could be um, caring about the environment. This could be helping out those in need. This could be just your overall happiness and fulfillment in life and looking at the choices you're making and how they are impacting everyone and everything around you. I think when you start to tap into this connection and see that we're all connected, we are all one, then you make a lot better decisions. And I know for myself, some of these realizations and true energetic shifts came when I went vegan, when I started really limiting my plastic use, which I'm going to be diving into for Plastic Free July. So make sure you uh, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you can join me for these daily tips throughout Plastic Free July so you can make um, a better impact, a more positive impact on the environment. But Aside from that, every single thing I made, every single choice I made started to be from the place of like, how can I just continue to be better and better this situation or better someone else's life or be that positive ripple effect. So we also have this amazing book, which I wasn't going to bring up, but I will. Divine, The Divine Matrix by Greg Braden. And I'll link it down below in the description box so you can check it out. 
Now, one of the cool things and like the ways he explains this divine matrix and this interconnectedness of the quantum field that I think will make it really easy for you to grasp. I know for myself, it made it a lot easier. So he talked about it as like the spider web. And <laughs> I don't know how this is going to look like this is not that's not a spider web. <laughs> like, what does a spider web look like? Um, I'm just not, I'm just going to leave it like that. Oh my gosh, I should just stop before this gets even worse. <laughs> um, so he basically talks about the interconnectedness as like a spider web that's over all of us and like over the planet itself. So if you think about that, it's like this, this um, sheet or like this covering and there's little webs, little strings, little ties going every which way, connecting people, connecting us to the planet, connecting us to other things, you know, like animals, the environment, everything. It's this divine matrix. It's this true big connection. Now, how does this relate to the butterfly effect itself? Well, every single choice we make has a ripple effect, whether we realize it or not. So consciously, you might not see the impact of your decisions immediately, but they're there. <laughs> Every single thing you do has an impact. So you going to the supermarket and smiling at someone seems really simple, right? And we don't, we often take for granted how much of an impact that could play out. But I remember reading this this little poem when I was little. For some reason, my brother maybe got it in class and we had it posted on our big huge whiteboard that I used to do videos on, um, we had this this article and it was basically about how this one smile changed the world. And I will never forget that because this is the butterfly effect in example. So you go to the supermarket and you smile at someone. To you that might seem really simple, that might just be like what you normally do, but to that person maybe they were having the absolute worst day ever. Maybe they were really struggling at that time and your smile helped to kind of snap them out of their funk. Maybe they were caught up in their thoughts and playing all these negative scenarios and your smile allowed them to kind of stop and interrupt those thoughts and maybe when they got home they felt like they were in a better mood and maybe they didn't even know why. Maybe they didn't relate it to you smiling at them but that simple, simple action triggered a change in events and now when they go home to their family or when they're driving and instead of having like road rage and being angry or snapping or impatient they have this this shift in their energy that allows them to just be more relaxed be more at ease and then how does that affect other people who are driving and then how does that affect their family when they get home and now they're in a better mood instead of spreading more negativity to everyone so it is this huge, huge ripple effect. One single thing changes the whole outcome of events going on afterwards. And another example in my own personal life, and this was actually something we talked about a lot after my brother passed away because the circumstances of his death were extremely unnecessary. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people say that about grief, but it just was like had there was like a million potential things that would have changed the whole outcome of that night. But it was just like that one little thing. And that's what ended it for him. And so it was really hard in the grieving process for my family and I because it was really easy to go like, oh, but what if he had just stayed with his best friends longer? What if he and his girlfriend had been together? What if he had worked later that night? What if he had said no to this guy? What if he had um, expressed himself the way he had expressed himself to my mom that day about everything going on? What if like all these things, right? What if the other guy um, had been stronger and not been in his situation and didn't bring my brother down with him? Like what if, what if, what if, right? And for those who don't know, my brother passed away from an allergic reaction to a prescription drug that he was pressured to take by someone he knew. And the other guy was totally fine and my brother just had an allergic reaction. So 
it wasn't something we could have necessarily known beforehand, but just like a concoction of events that led to what happened. But it was really, really easy for us to go like, what if? And because of my love for the movie, The Butterfly Effect, and um, it was actually very strange because before I got the phone call that my brother had passed away, I was on an airplane and I was sitting listening to some of my favorite songs from this movie. And the first time I'd watched that movie was with Derek. And I was sitting listening to the songs and I just started bawling uncontrollably on the airplane. And I was thinking of Derek and I just wanted to text him and say like, we need to watch this movie again and remind him of how powerful it was and share those songs with him because one of them was by Oasis and they were one of his favorite bands. And I just was like, intuitively and energetically, I really believe that I knew he had just passed, like my mom was just finding him at that time. And I was uncontrollably crying and thinking about him. And to me, that is a perfect example of the interconnectedness of energy because on a logical level I had no idea what was going on but our connection was so strong that I intuitively knew and um it was just like those weird weird synchronicities or weird moments and how every little thing impacts the next one right so that would be like a real life example because I just everything in that situation could have been so differently had one little thing changed. And I think all of us can reflect to this in our life right now where maybe there was a time where things didn't go as planned for you and it was really easy for you to be like, oh, if only this, if I had done this or if I had said that or if they had done this instead or, right, like one single shift could have totally changed the outcome and the potential reality. And so how this actually works in real life, which is so powerful, because everything exists on an energetic level before it exists in the physical level. On Earth, we operate in the physical and this three-dimensional realm, but we are higher evolved spiritual beings and energetic beings, which is how we can use the quantum field to tap in and to create these um, timeline repairs. So if you have an, uh, a time in your life where something has gone on and created trauma or created pain or created this really negative shift in your life, well, that continues to affect you. And, and as I've just explained, that continues to uh, project what's going to happen next for you in your life, right? One single event could turn you on a different path or cause you to feel more stuck or cause you to do this or do that, right? So that one event. Now on the quantum field, you can go back to that event and change the energetic imprint and the energetic um, outcome basically by doing a timeline repair. And now I've been working with Amelia, who's an amazing quantum healer. I've got all her info down below too, if you're interested in this. Personally, I'm so excited because I feel like quantum healing is like exactly what I've been looking for all my life because it is like the real life butterfly effect where you can go back and no, obviously I can't go back and change something in the quantum field that would manifest my brother back into the physical reality. I do understand that there are certain laws that I cannot change in that way, but I can go back and go to these different timelines and heal the energy or heal the trauma and bring God consciousness in or like the divine power into these, uh, into these, uh, <laughs> my mind just shut off. Um, I can bring it into these experiences and create a totally different outcome by healing and changing the energy. So. I actually did a timeline repair with her around um, a, a really big time in my life where there was a lot of unworthiness caused and, and I've also used it in different ways around my sexual assault and the trauma that happened from that experience and how I can go back to that timeline. I cannot undo what has happened in the physical. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, 
Um, I can't, I can't go back and undo what happened in the physical reality and undo the sexual assault. Um, but I can go back and on the energetic side of things, I can heal the experience to remove and decrease a lot of the trauma and that traumatic energy that was created that then had become imprinted. So because of that one experience, it impacted so many future experiences for me. It impacted my own beliefs around myself and my, my unworthiness again. And it created a lot of negative energy in my mind, body, and soul. So by going back and using the quantum field or tapping into the quantum field, I mean, using this timeline repair, I'm able to shift the energy around that so that instead of it having so much trauma and so much pain that I've been carrying, I can shift it and heal it so that it becomes more of a lesson instead of like all of the pain and heaviness. And therefore, that allows me to break out of this present day timeline where I'm still a slave to that trauma. So it's been so incredibly transformative. And like I said, it's literally the butterfly effect in action because when you heal and release that event energetically, you catapult into a new uh, energy frequency and a new vibration where now that isn't weighing down and holding you back the same way and you are actually able to rise up and transmute that energy, transmute that experience to show up in the world on a different level and with that newfound freedom. So I'm just like so excited about this because you can use your energy and the more you tap into energy, the um, more powerful these experiences are. And I wanted to share this really quick clip up here of actually a time when I was talking about energy and deep meditations and connecting into God consciousness, connecting into the universe, where I was out of body and just totally tapped into the energetic field. I did this during Yoga Nidra when I was studying in India and connected with my brother on an energetic frequency. I didn't see his physical body, but we were both there together. And anyway, I shared about this on this video up here that is tagged down below, but I wanna share this clip to show how powerful the energy is and how we are still connected, not only to everyone else, but even still departed loved ones. So check this out. In one of those experiences, I was totally detached from my physical body and, um, I was floating in out in outer space in the stars, which I've always had this strong connection to space, um, which probably sounds weird to some people, but whatevs. Uh, so I was floating, like I didn't have a body, but it was still me. And it was just this beautiful, calming sense of being at home. And my brother was there. And again, it wasn't his physical body, but it was like the energy. And I just knew he was there with me this connection, these stars, everything. And one thing I do, okay, <laughs> um, that's weird. The power just went out. There's like no storms going on or anything. It's like a beautiful day outside. Maybe my brother's here. Hi, Derek. Um, He's been around a lot extra lately, to be honest, and I've been extra aware of it lately, so that's really cool. Um, okay, so anyway. Oh my gosh, okay, like this is still one of my favorite memories of a YouTube video ever because I was just talking about Derek and our experience and I had been tapping in more deeply to my energy over the last little while and all of a sudden he came through and spirit, because spirit is, is not bound by the physical, they really are connected to energy. So music, lights, different electric, uh, electrical <laughs> electricity, um, that is a really good way for a spirit to communicate with us. So that example of that, or that clip that I just shared is really just showing you, um, not necessarily like a quantum shifting or anything, but just this deep interconnectedness between energy. And the more you do the work on yourself and healing things and breaking out of the cage that is your mind and all these limitations and perceptions and traumas and old stories and struggles, 
this cage that's literally keeping you stuck in a box, when you do the work to break out of that and you spend more time uh, connecting spiritually and connecting energetically, reconnecting to who your true self, your true core being is, you are able to manifest, you are able to align, you're able to create so much more. And there, there in that place, it's a lot easier to actually do this quantum work and this shifting. So I wanted to share all of that with you guys. And uh, please, if you enjoy this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe and turn on the notifications. And uh, if you're interested in quantum healing, and if you're interested in learning more about how you can use this to transform and shift and repair old timelines to create a new future for you that's free of the past, make sure you send Amelia a message down below, connect with her, chat about some of her amazing, amazing quantum healing sessions that she could do with you. If you want to know more about the mindset work itself and how you can reprogram your mind and align your energy together to create these major shifts, to release the past, build up confidence and alignment in the present and manifest and create in the future, make sure you check out my free mindset training down below because this is all about how you can break free from your mind's limitations so that you can start to create the life you want. And it's so incredible what has been done from the women and men who have worked through this program with me to not only break out of their old cycle and their old identity, but to start to really align with what they're destined for and what they are here to do, whether that's building their businesses, um, working with charities, manifesting their soulmates and their dream friends, um, just really ultimately creating so many big shifts around what is possible for them because they're healing their mindset and releasing on an energetic level as well. So check out that training too down below and uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts of the butterfly effect and um, the movie or, or like the theory in general um, and share if you want to share an experience of how something like how there's that one thing that one choice you made and how it maybe created this super positive ripple effect or maybe how it created like a negative ripple effect right and how if you could shift the energy around that one event imagine how much different your life would be right now we all go oh i just wish i could take back that day or oh i just wish i could time travel and go fix this one thing well no, you can't do it on the physical realm, but you can do it on the energetic realm. And believe me, it's worth it. And <laughs> it's so freaking cool when you do that. And you go on the in the quantum field and energetically repair and shift so that it isn't there anymore. So the why well, I wish I could just go back and fix this. Well, surprise you can and and it's like really really cool really powerful really possible if you choose to do the work so make sure you check out all those links down below and i will see you on the next video bye guys